In the previous videos, we have talked about a few basic things that you can do in MATLAB. What you notice is that we have been writing all our code inside of the command window and performing all the operations here. However, there are a few big issues with writing code in the command window. When you write code in the command window, you cannot reuse it, you cannot edit it, and you cannot even save it. So is there a better way to write code in MATLAB? Yes, there is. I am Zen Khan and in this video, I am going to talk about the editor in MATLAB and also the live script. Before I show you how to open the editor, let me demonstrate with an example. Why do we need to use the editor in the first place? Let's start with a very simple example. Let's say you have three variables with the values of one, two, and three respectively. And you need to find the sum. So I make another variable, call it sum, and I add the three variables. So I get the sum as six. Now, let's say I realize that the value of the third variable is not three, but it is 30. So I make a change and I redefine C as 30. However, what you notice is that when I call sum again, the value of sum remains six. The reason is that the sum command, which was executed here, was executed before the redefinition of C, before I defined C as 30. So the sum keeps its value as six. In order to update the value, I need to write the sum command again. A plus, plus C, press enter, and now the sum value gets updated. So you see what the problem here is. If you are writing a big code and you make a mistake somewhere, so in order to correct the mistake, you would need to write the entire code again. And that is not something we want. So what you do is you make use of the editor. Let me show you how to open the editor. In order to open the editor, there are two main ways. The first is to go here on the top left and click new script. And the second way is to simply write edit in the command window. You press enter and you see that the editor has opened and the command window is displaced downwards. So the best practice is to first save the editor file before writing any code. So I press save. I write the name as something. And you notice that the file name of the editor file is always .m. Press save and it is shown in the current directory. Let me tell you what the difference between the editor and the command window is. When you write the code in the command window, your code gets executed as in when you write. In the editor, what you do is you write all of the code together and you just press execute once and the entire of it would get executed from top to bottom. Let me show you how. So let me write the same example. Now you notice that even though I've written this, it does not get updated in the workspace since this code hasn't been run yet. It hasn't been executed. In order to execute this code, I need to go to the editor tab here and press run or press F5, which is the shortcut. I press run and now the workspace gets populated. If I need to make any changes to this code, I can make the changes, press run again, and the workspace automatically gets updated. And here in the command window, I can see that it has executed the file name something and I can also see the output sum. And now let me write some initial commands to make it better for the eyes and let me run it again. One thing to remember is that whatever you write and save in the editor is known as the script since it can be used again and again and it saves time. A better way to create a new script is instead of just writing edit, you write edit followed by a file name and press enter. So I write edit test one, two, three, and I press enter. So now you notice that it has opened the editor with a new script, which has already been saved and it is titled as test one, two, three. And here I can start coding whatever I want. The second thing that we are going to talk about is the life editor or the live script. You can open live editor by going into the home tab and clicking new live script. You press it and a new file opens and notice that the file extension is a little different. 
it is dot max and here the screen is divided into two parts the live script or the live editor is almost the same as the script or the editor the only difference is when you run the live editor it is going to show you the output right next to it instead of showing the output in the command window let me show you what i mean let me open this and let me copy all of this and let me paste this here and now if once i press run by going again into the live editor and pressing run here you can see that the sum is shown on the right instead of the command window that is all for this video don't forget to subscribe to show your support and also so that you can get updated when i upload a new video and as always see you in the next video